Welcome back to the Meadowlands in this 1986 Hamiltonian. The wind has started to pick up and it's clouding over and there just may be the threat of rain. The Hamiltonian, one of Trotting's biggest prizes, but in pacing, it's the U.S. Pacing Championship and that's coming up right now. And as you'll hear from Dave and Stan, it literally is just a two-horse race. Well, what happened was that when Joe DeFrank opened the entry box for the U.S. Pacing Championship, there were only two slips in the box, Falcon Steelster and Forrest Skipper. Rather than cancel the race, as they would, uh, I guess, if any other box was opened and there were only two slips in there, these just happen to be the two finest horses, I guess, pacing in the world. They are. They're the two best pacers in the world and two of the fastest ever. So he and, decided to keep it. Well, it's a natural matchup. Uh, one of them, Falcon Steelster, has set world records on half and five eighths mile tracks, won his last seven in a row, mm. and Forrest Skipper has won all nine starts this year. It is quite a confrontation. Well, it is. Match races were sort of popular in the late 1950s when Adios Harry was racing in the mid-1950s and Dottie's Pick later on was racing. There haven't been any match races recently because they pose a very difficult thing. They can be a big success and they can be a big flop if one horse happens to run off with it or race off with it or pace off with it, whichever the case may be, or trot off with it if there was a match race trot. This one won't be that, but what's going to be interesting is see how they set the fractions. Falcon Sierster likes to race in front, and the question is, can he set a pace, and can Forrest Skipper, if he is trailing him, in fact, overcome that lead? In thoroughbred racing, basically the horse that gets out in front in match racing, and there hasn't been uh, really any match racing at all since Ruffian's uh, uh, untimely passing, but uh, usually in thoroughbred racing, it's the horse that gets out, and I suppose that uh, there, that must be going through the minds of uh, Tom Harmer and uh, Lucian Fontaine. Well, they've guided these horses perfectly so far to tremendous campaigns. Falcon Sealster has won a million one hundred and six thousand dollars. Forrest Skipper seven hundred and twenty-six thousand. Uh, he won three hundred nineteen thousand of that this year. Three hundred eighty-one last year. Falcon Sealster won over eight hundred thousand dollars last year. The tote board says that number one Falcon Sealster is even money. Number two Forrest Skipper is one to five. And we'll see what happens very shortly as they come into Tom Durkin's view. So Falcon Sealster and Forrest Skipper in a $60,000 event. It's the U.S. Pacing Championship. Here's Tom Durkin. Thank you, Dave. Field of two. Behind the starting gate as they pick up speed. Here they come. Rare match race. Falcon Sealster is at the rail and Forrest Skipper from post two. Here they come. And uh, they're off. And Forrest Skipper is hustled out for that lead. Falcon Sealster is trying to stay with them as they move into the first turn. So there's an early battle. Falcon Sealster at the rail and Forrest Skipper on the outside. Falcon Sealster has the lead now. And Forrest Skipper is just off his flank on the outside. He's parked out. So it's all Falcon Sealster in the early going. He's got the advantage. Forrest Skipper is still parked out right at his neck on the outside. Here's that first quarter. They won it in 27 and 2 fifth seconds. So they move as a team as they enter the back stretch for this match race. Falcon Silster is still with a short advantage, and Forrest Skipper is kept right at his neck on the outside. Tom Harmer, guiding Falcon Silster from the rail, has parked out Forrest Skipper through the first quarter, still parked out as they continue up the back stretch. They are noses apart, looking each other right in the eye as they move over to the half mile. The quarter was up in 27-2, a quick half, 54 and 2 fifth seconds, and now Forrest Skipper, he's in gear! Forrest Skipper in gear, and he has taken a clear lead, and Falcon Sealster cannot stay with him. Forrest Skipper is moving away dramatically to a five-length lead, a six-length lead as they round the final turn. Midway round the final turn, Forrest Skipper has opened up a seven-length advantage. Falcon Sealster cannot stay with him. Here's the three-quarter time, 121 and four. Forrest Skipper with Lucian Fontaine. It is now a race against the clock, and the whip is out on Forrest Skipper as they come into the final eight. He's bearing up just a bit, but the lead is now nine lengths. Falcon Sealster has been defeated. It is now Forrest Skipper against the clock. Fontaine urging him on for the final 16th. They're going into a stiff win here, and Forrest Skipper with a dramatic victory over Falcon Sealster in this match race. The final time, 153 and three. Forrest Skipper, the decisive winner.
and Stan, I didn't expect to see him go eye to eye around that turn the way they did to the backstretch. It was really a match race right from the get go. I don't think anyone else expected him either, but Lucien Fontaine knew what he was doing. The normal inclination would be to drop in behind him. He knew that Falcon Sealster would go to the front. He also figured that he had the better horse, which it turns out he did. And he decided, we'll just let him look him in the eye and we'll go as far as he wants to go. So he sat for a skipper right outside, as you see. And there they are, going down the back stretch. Falcon Sealster setting his own pace and he couldn't get away from this horse. And sometime horses do not like that. Even championship horses looking somebody in the face, giving all they have and particularly at this point when Forrest Skipper breaks his heart going right on by him. Well, that was the, was the decisive move on the backstretch after a half and 54 and two, which Tom said was quick. But uh, coming into the stretch, it was, uh, as Tom said, a race against the clock, but a tremendous headwind. Look at Fontaine sitting easy here. When he went by him, his whip was straight up in the air. This horse pacing on his own and just powerfully overcoming him to get his 10th victory and remain undefeated in uh, 1986. And what a pacer he is. The reason for the slow time, or relatively slow time, after incredibly fast three quarters, 121 and four fifths, was the wind that's blowing down the stretch. We have a minor typhoon, and the flags above the tote board here are blowing out full mast. Now here, you see Fontaine wrapping on the shafts of the sulky. He has a seven-length lead coming down through the lane, and Forrest Skipper is beginning to get tired, as well he might. A titanic effort. He had been just sitting outside of Falcon Seal Store all the way, and Fontaine just wraps the shaft, never hits the horse, and said, come on, boy, try to beat the clock. And Forrest Skipper, if he could talk and say, hey, Lush, I've done it already. What more do you want? I put him away, and here he is, the outstanding pacing horse in the world today. Lucian Fontaine drives Forrest Skipper to this incredible victory. Loved by the crowd here this afternoon, Forrest Skipper paid 260, win betting only, and the final time, one minute 53 and three fifth seconds. Our coverage of the Hamiltonian Day here at the Meadowlands will continue in a moment.